Rich, the city's Inside Workers Union is questioning the independence of a report that recommended the closure of all city-run daycares. QP Local 543 has launched an investigation after learning that one of the report's authors has a family member who runs a large private daycare in the city. With more on why the debate over public daycares in Windsor may not be over, here's A News Daryl Newcomb. Council Chambers was overflowing with concerned parents, daycare workers, and special interest groups giving their opinions about a report recommending the closure of all city daycares and the relocation of the children to private daycares. The report was co-authored by Rana Warsh, the city's Community Development and Health Commissioner. QP Local 543 President Jean Fox says she wants to know whether Warsh's family relationship to the administrator of a large private daycare provider influenced the report. There were some concerns and allegations in regards to uh, Ms. Warsh's relationship with some private daycare owners, um, some close friends that were daycare owners, and a family member. Rana Warsh is the sister-in-law of Marcy Warsh, who according to the regional 211 website is a program coordinator for Sundowners, a private non-profit daycare run out of more than a dozen schools in the area. Private daycares are expected to benefit from increased enrollment once the public daycares close. This information has been sent on to our legal counsel and at this time it's being reviewed and investigated. But Warsh had already sought out a lawyer who gave the legal opinion that co-authoring the report was not a violation of any code of conduct. Warsh was not in the office today but City Solicitor George Wilkie was available to comment. The information that Council based its decision on was factual information uh, and input from the from the delegations and ultimately in the end Rana's relative received no benefit whatsoever from that decision. The ultimate choice as to where children go is up to the parent not up to the uh, department that Rana Warsh is the, the head of. But CUPE says it wants to see the closures put on hold until a new report is written. At the very, very least, uh, a deferral in which a complete uh, review of that report and the unanswered questions. But Wilkie says that's not necessary. City staff are well aware of their responsibilities under the conflict of interest policy for employees. Daryl Newcomb, A News. Thank you, Daryl.